All right, it's kind of bright in this greenhouse, so I have to wear my cool guy glasses. Yeah, right. But I'm gonna give you a, a tour, a little bit of the greenhouse and what it's looking like. It's kind of trashed out right now. I gotta move things and junk, and I'm still working on it, trying to get it ready. All right, well, it's like 50, yeah, 50, I don't know if you can see that, 65 in here. It's a lot cooler than that outside. You know what, let's do one thing. There we go. Go ahead and turn the light on. Let's turn these on too. As you can tell, I got power out here. Not in the best way yet. I still gotta run it for real. I got it tempted. You don't need to see what I did. <laughs> All right, anyway. There's my plants. I got a light there. Kept those alive. Those are looking good. This, this one's actually starting to spring to life and this tree that I got kind of a weird time during late late fall it came in I was like what am I supposed to do with this I got it growing in a grow bag I got tomato plant right there um, of course, that's a tiny Tim tomato there. Those are those Italian ones that a guy gave me. And right there, that one too. I have tons of those. Those are the ones that are growing in my green, not my greenhouse, but my garage even. That uh, stuff's supposed to be for um, mosquitoes the cupomoy that's some kind of basil that I kept going all right I'm back the window I open when I need some air there's tons of just buckets that I got built up the most recent thing that I did was install this wood stove for my dad I got flue pipe going out the roof and everything um, <clears throat> I don't plan on using this really ever except if the electricity goes out then I'll if the electricity went out I would start it up it's just kind of cool I'll probably undo it at one of the higher places like there or so and remove it and cap off the flue pipe until that case arises and put it underneath the shelf or on top of the shelf actually because I don't want water from plants dripping on it so I'll probably put it up at the corner where all those are all right and I'm going to be putting in an exhaust fan right there because I have to have this door open even when it's like below freezing pretty much or it gets up into the hundreds if the sun's out. It gets hot in here quick. That's only one wall that actually is not got wood on it, but it's got all this radiant barrier on it. It seems to hold it pretty good. Got some regular lights that I installed in here. Oh, there's a vent up there too. And some light there. The, that one on the left grow. That one's just a little heat lamp, I think. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and start adjusting this.
Bye. Whee! I think I hear my monster.